Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on the Red Fiero once again, and we're going to be working on the inside. I don't think I showed this on my channel yet. I got a custom front badge off of Facebook. That is pretty cool. I like that a lot. I got that after my car actually got backed into and the front emblem got uh, destroyed. So I got a custom one. Okay, anyway, today's thing that we're gonna be doing to the inside is this right here. So you can see there's a little USB charger right on the bottom where the rear defrost would be. So we're gonna be putting that in today. I was really debating if I was even going to make this a video because I saw someone on Facebook do it and I thought it was pretty simple and I was just going to do it and see if I liked it because I don't really know if I'm going to like it. I mean, I could take this out tomorrow and uh, completely throw it away, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to throw it in and see how I like it. It should be really simple. There's only a positive and a negative for this and they are even labeled and they gave us a wiring harness in with this plug that I got. So I'm just gonna take this thing out. I'm going to try to run the wires and we're gonna see how easy this is to put in. If you saw my video, I did the door panels. I also, with the scrap pieces I had, did the sun visors as well. I did a little two-tone thing with it. So I have the design on the bottom and then when you go down, it's black to match the headliner. I thought it was pretty cool and they turned out pretty good, especially for just using the scrap pieces I had. So I'm pretty happy with it. But anyways, let's get into this. So this USB plug came with the actual plug and also these two wires. The positive has an inline fuse, which is kind of helpful, so you have more options to wire it to. I took one of these and tried to get this to fit, but it didn't fit perfect with the normal hole. So I had to use a little Dremel and Dremel out the sides and the top was actually too long. So you can see I used this uh, putty stuff. Uh, it was some product from JB Weld I forgot now but it actually did a pretty good job to fill in the gap. Um, as you can see, I didn't get it perfectly smooth, but I'm just gonna test to see if I like this. So, I mean, if I don't like it, I can take it off. Um, if I do like it, I can also take it off and I can redo it to make it look a bit better because this was a scrap one just to experiment. So I'm gonna get in there, start taking out the other one, and we're gonna see how we're gonna fit this and wire it and everything like that. My plan is I'm gonna run the two wires through this hole and then out the back somewhere down here. I'm going to put it to a ground somewhere under there. And then for the positive, I'm gonna go into one of these spots in the fuse box. I think it should work fine, so uh, we'll see. All right, so here's what I came up with. For the ground wire, I just found another black wire that was the same gauge wire. I soldered it and put some heat shrink on it. So now that's longer, so that one will be good. Over here, this one's a little different. I, uh, the only gauge wire that I had that was the same was a green one and so, cause I didn't want to use black again. So this was the one I had to use because all the parts stores are closed right now. And, uh, yeah, so I have the, this goes on to the switch. This is the inline fuse goes over. I soldered this goes over and I have a spade connector on it so I can plug it right into the fuse box. So here it is all put together. Um, I did make another adjustment i found the ground i'm going to use so i put a small ring terminal on here and now we should be all good to throw it on into the car i just hooked the battery back up i have this still loose and i have the wire still dangling down here um, i just want to see if this works i haven't tried it yet first i'm going to show you guys how i have it hooked up so for the positive, I have it going down into the ignition slot on the fuse box. So it should only turn on with the ignition on. And then for the ground, I have that up under here. There is a ground that you can see right there. And I just went right to that ground. And let's see if it works now. This should only power on when I have the key in the on position. So let's give it a whirl. Yep. All right. So we can see the gauge that it gives us on there is working. So that is definitely a good sign. And uh, let me see if I can plug something into here. I have a phone cord. And if this plugs in, then uh, we'll be good to go. Awesome. So you can see there, this is charging now. So now this guy is working just as it should. 
So now that we know that this works, I'm gonna go back and button everything up. I'm gonna go put this back in. I'm gonna go clean up the wiring down there and make sure everything's bolted up and that should be everything. And just like that, everything is all buttoned up. So that really wraps this video up. I just thought it was a small cool addition that you could add to your car, because let's face it, how many times do we actually use the rear defroster? I think for the four years that I've owned this car, I have probably used it zero times. I don't even know if this thing works, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I like this. So far I do, I think it's a little cool addition. If I end up not liking it anywhere down the road, I can always just pop this guy back in. It's a five minute job. So yeah, just a little cool addition that you can add to the car. Just like the one back here. So right now my trunk light is out and now I flip the switch and I got a trunk light. I literally just took the wire, cut it in half and then put a switch in. Um, this is a temporary spot. I want to find a place to mount it but I kind of just put that on there and I never really got around to finding a spot. So I'm still looking for one. Once I do, I think it'll be cool. I think maybe in the corner on the trunk somewhere around here would be cool. So I can, if I'm working on the car, I can just go in, flip the switch, have it shut off. It's definitely helpful when you're working on the engine and you have to have the deck lit up and you don't want to kill your battery. So I, I don't know. I just thought it was a little cool thing. It's the small things that count, I guess. But yeah, that is going to do it for today's video. So if you like this and you want to do it for yourself, I will leave the link to it in the description. I got off like AliExpress. I think it was like $9 shipped. So it really wasn't bad. You really can't go wrong with it. A cool little interior mod that can help modernize your vehicle. You could really put this anywhere. You could put it down here next to the cigarette lighter, even put it right where the cigarette lighter goes. I just thought it was cool to go up here. I saw someone else do it on Facebook and I wanted to do something similar to it and see how it turned out. And I think it turned out pretty good. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. See you later.